Okay, everybody, now listen up, because we've got some real intense stuff to talk about. Yeah, that's right. If you're thinking about the menu over the years at McDonald's, then you are correct. And we're going to start from the very, very beginning and work our way up. Now, these are going to be nothing that is discontinued, stuff that is still on the menu to this day, Maybe an exception here and there. The McDonald's menu year by year. From 1937 to 1940, going by the Air Dome, they served hot dogs, hamburgers, and all you can drink orange juice. 1940 came, and then they went under the name McDonald's Famous Barbecue. And it was a drive-in restaurant instead of their little octagon shack. And the McDonald's famous barbecue menu that I could find was from 1943. And taking a look at the menu, there was uh, things on there and it stated, We barbecue all meats in our own barbecue pit. And then later on it read, Don't be misled. Other places advertise their meat as barbecued when it's merely cooked on a stove. You are welcome to see our meat while it's actually being barbecued in our own barbecue pit. They had giant malts, ice cream sodas, sundaes, root beer, root beer floats, Coca-Cola, and coffee. Then on the right side of the menu, they had sandwiches, and all of the sandwiches were served with a side of french fries. They had the famous barbecued beef, ham, or pork Then they had the melted cheese, which I'm guessing is grilled cheese, like a grilled cheese sandwich. Then they actually had peanut butter and jelly. So think about that. McDonald's at one point seriously served peanut butter and jelly. Also, hamburger steak, tamales and chili, a bowl of chili, or as the menu called it, an order of straight chili, and ham and baked beans. And then there are three other options at the bottom of the menu, and it was a barbecued plate with french fries, a hamburger royal with chili and beans, and last, just chili and beans. Eight years passed by, and 1948, they dropped the barbecue from their name, and then they just switched up entirely everything of how they served and got a very simplified menu, and then they just uh, went by... McDonald's. 1948, the McDonald's menu had hamburgers, cheeseburgers, potato chips, coffee, soft drinks, and for dessert, an actual slice of apple pie. Not the apple pies they serve today, but an actual slice of apple pie. 1949, potato chips were replaced with french fries, and apple pie was replaced with milkshakes. So, by the early mid 1950s, the menu would read as pure beef hamburger, tempting cheeseburger, triple thick milkshakes in flavors of chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry, golden french fries, thirst quenching Coke, delightful root beer, steaming hot coffee, full flavor orange drink, and refreshing cold milk. Anything to jazz up anything, am I right? Anyways, during the 50s came a promotional item very early on, which were double hamburgers and double cheeseburgers, but they called them the McDouble Hamburger and the McDouble Cheeseburger. Yeah, it was just available for a promotional, limited time. And then in 1962, the filet fish made its debut. 1965, the double cheeseburger made its permanent place on the McDonald's menu instead of just being a promotional item. Or I should say the McDouble cheeseburger, but I think they dropped the Mick by 1965. 1967, we have the Big Mac. It was debuted in a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania McDonald's. And then by 1968, it was on the McDonald's menu nationally and permanently. Also, in 1968, saw the debut of the hot apple pie, which was different than how you get them now, which now they are baked. But back then, they were uh, really, really high in fat as they were deep fried, and they tasted probably a whole lot better. 1970 came the Shamrock Shake. 
1972, the Quarter Pounder hit the menu. 1975, the Egg McMuffin hit the menu nationally. 1977, the complete McDonald's breakfast menu was debuted. We have the Big Breakfast, which comes with scrambled eggs, a hash brown, sausage or bacon, and a biscuit or an English muffin at some point during the breakfast menu years. 1979 was the year of happiness as the Happy Meal hit the McDonald's menu nationally. 1980, the McChicken balked its way into the menu, and it was a lot larger than how we see them now, which are usually you order them from the value menu. 1981, the McRib hit the menu, and it was to uh, fill in the gaps where the Chicken McNuggets uh, left behind as some franchises got the Chicken McNuggets, and there was a bit of a chicken shortage So, uh, the rest of the franchises that didn't get Chicken McNuggets in 1981, they got the McRib instead. And the McRib, it's it's been discontinued, but it always makes an appearance at some point in the year annually. Usually during the fall, I'd say around September, October, somewhere around there. The chicken shortage was fixed in 1983, so the Chicken McNuggets are now available for the first time nationally. 1983. In 1986, the country was being more health conscious and more diet uh, friendly, and McDonald's started adding salads to their menu. 1987 came hotcakes as they were introduced as a breakfast item on the breakfast menu, obviously. And the hotcakes are served with a little cup of maple syrup and whipped butter. Getting into the rad and super cool and tubular 90s, They went from something really rad to kind of a bummer as the hot apple pies were now baked instead of deep fried. Now speaking of the pies at McDonald's, let's take a look at the varieties, the the flavors of pies that are available in McDonald's restaurants, at least in the United States. We have apple, cherry, pineapple, peach, pumpkin, strawberry and cream, cherry and cream, guava and cream, chocolate, s'mores, sweet potato, and holiday pies, which are my favorite. Holiday pies, if you have not had them, I'm going to tell you what they are all about. It's just amazing. They got a sweet vanilla custard inside, and they're topped with rainbow sprinkles, and they're usually available during the holiday season, November December. Sometimes they're still hanging out in January, but I would definitely recommend the holiday pies. They're my favorite. I could only imagine how they would taste if they were deep fried, but yeah, a man can dream. 1992. The earliest existence that I could find of the triple cheeseburger hits the menu. 1995, Canadian McDonald's debuted the McFlurry, and then it was worldwide, or at least in the United States, by 1997. The early 2000s came a lot of different changes in the menu, trying to switch things up besides the usual. 2001 came the McGriddle sandwich, and the buns for the sandwich, this breakfast sandwich, this big old breakfast sandwich, is uh, two little pancakes for the top and bottom, and they have a, a taste of maple syrup within. Very nice and inventive little sandwich they have there. In 2008, the McDouble became a value menu item, and fun fact, the McDouble in 1997 made an appearance, but it didn't come with cheese as it does now. And back then, the McDouble just had lettuce and tomatoes instead of onions and pickles, like the McDoubles do today. And the McDouble is basically a double cheeseburger with just one slice of cheese instead of two, like double cheeseburgers have. That's the only difference. There's been plenty of limited edition and promotional items that have come and gone, been discontinued, so on and so forth. But uh, for the most part, those are your permanent standard sandwiches that you should expect to see on the menu at any McDonald's you go to. 